Okay, well, uh, the only thing I was half decent at, really, I think, was, was art. I wasn't very academic at school, uh, but I was, I, I was okay at drawing. So I, I did a foundation course in art, and then I did a degree in creative arts, which basically means you can dabble in all the arts. You major in one, which was art. Drama was my second subject. At the, at the university, I, I met some very inspiring students who are now my best friends. They've been friends all my life. And, and we just sparked off each other. And we, 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 we created theatre together. And I'd never really been involved in theatre, only a little bit. Maybe I was a bit of a show off, I don't know. But, uh, but we inspired each other. And, and it became very clear to me that I enjoyed the social aspect of drama more than the solitary aspect of art. And I liked, I liked the, the, the fact that you were, you were playing with your emotions, your physicality. It was about your body. Your body was, body was like the canvas, if you like, and the paintbrush and the paints. And, and it was more fun. So, so that was really, I suppose, where it all started. And then I, I caught on fire. And I, I, was quite, I was quite a determined young man. So it was like, what do I have to do now? And I, I didn't know any other actors, so I, I didn't really know how to go about it. But eventually I, I found my way. Yeah, yeah, I found my way. It's, it's a bit like this. You, I, I, I get sent the, the script by my agent. They say, oh, this project's happening. They, they want to see you for this part. So you look at the part, da da da. Is there anything I, I can find on the internet about the character? We used to meet like this. You used to you used to sit with the director and, and, and then there'd be a camera just like there is here. And we'd do the scene. You just do what you can, really. You've, you've got an instinct for the script and, and the, the particular character and you bring yourself to it as much as you can and then you pray to God. I, I find that quite difficult to answer because I, I, don't, I don't think I have a particular technique like some actors maybe would say well I do this, I do that and do that and that is my approach. When I was younger I used to think oh I don't, I don't know how to approach a, a, a character but I, I've been acting quite a long time now and, and I, I've learned to trust an instinct, if you like. Um, I mean, sometimes you may be playing a real person, like in Chernobyl, so you've got historical documents, you may have footage, um, and in, in, that, in that case, I will go and do the research and find out as much as I can. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm, do I'm doing a, a TV project and I'm playing a real person. I had the luxury of being able to meet him which has been really useful. I think it's taken me many, a long time to just trust, trust my instincts. And I like that. Maybe it's because I'm lazy. I don't know. No, no, I don't think. We, we've, we've got to make a living. We've, we've got to put bread on the table. And I, I, would, I, I would love to be in a position where, I mean, some jobs I, 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 I would say no to. I can do a project where it hasn't lit a flame, but the money's good. And so I'll go, well, come on, I've got to earn a living. I'm going to do it. You know, that's the reality. I, I want to get excited about the project. Even if I'm playing a tiny, pro tiny, like with Chernobyl, for example, when I read that script, I thought it was so fantastic. I, I would do anything, no matter how small, to be involved in the project. Yeah, so, so I, would, I would say that the script is the thing where, you know, because everything rests on the script. The script's not good, it doesn't matter how good the actors are, how good the production, if it's not a good story well told. Uh, yeah, so I think the bottom line is the script, really. Oh, that's difficult. I've, had, I've been very lucky, I've had a lot. Maybe I could just name a few. Um, the first time I, 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 I played a lead role in, in a, a TV film was a film called The Woman in Black. And I was quite a young, it was quite early on in my career. So I, I, I was in pretty much every scene. And so it was, it was a, a, a great time for me to spend so much time in front of the camera, to get comfortable, to relax, to learn, really. And so that was like, wow. 
that was that was uh, yeah that that, that stood out. Um, uh, I did a film, an independent film, uh, with a director called Lona Scherfig, really lovely director, Danish lady, called Wilbur Wants to Kill Himself. And it's not a particularly well-known film, but I think it's a lovely film, and I had a fantastic part in it. And, uh, and it's all about my brother's called Wilbur, and he's always trying to kill himself. It's a bit funny, it, it's not, you know, and, and it's their relationship of one brother trying to keep his brother alive all the time. And it, and it has sort of black comedy in it. But it was a lovely experience, a lovely director, great cast. Um, I mean, Harry Potter, of course, it's like just insane being involved in that project. Uh, going to work, turning up at Leaveston Studio and, and, and just going, oh my God, <laughs> there's the great hall, there's diagonally, it's just... Uh, um, Chernobyl, I mean, Doctor Who, there's so, so many, but Chernobyl was, was very special, I thought. Again, just to say, because of the script, and everything about it just felt very, very authentic. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I, d I don't know, really. I, d I tell you, if I had three wishes, one of the wishes, probably to have a better memory, uh, and, and, I mean, I've been acting now for 35 years and I've been auditioning for 35 years. I'd quite like not to audition anymore. It's not going to happen, <laughs> but you've asked me my wishes. Uh, what would I wish? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get, just get offered all my work, but we can but hope. Somewhat, sometimes I do get the odd offer, but mostly I have to audition. Uh, it's just the way it is. Um, but I, I just want to keep doing projects that mean something to me or that excite me really. And, and, and keep, I mean, basically, what, what, what are we doing? We're dressing up, playing. Like we all did it naturally when we were kids. And I'm doing it now as, as in my 60s. I'm still getting dressed up and playing. And of course, you have to play seriously you, and, and honestly and all that kind of stuff. But what a job. You know, some people, are, some people have really hard jobs. And, and, you know, this has its demands. But nevertheless, I, you know, I've never done a job uh, which I haven't enjoyed. I don't think acting. I'm not like I can remember. It's, it's a real... What a job. <laughs> it's great. Thank you.